Hello YouTube's Krosama. Here we have today is a beautiful kit I've been very much anticipating. It is the high grade build divers Gundam H2 Magnum SV version. Now this is Gucho's mobile suit who is the reigning champion of the GBN. This suit, man, is just super, super fun to build, super fun to pose. And in fact, the pose it's in is the FX Plosion, uh, which is very much built on the Age FX, uh, where pretty much it goes into its maximum uh, potential and it just allows it to have great mobility and use all these little funnels it has. So super, 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 super cool. I just, I love this. I cannot get enough of it. Uh, playing around with it and just doing all like little minor different poses is really fun. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the details. So when looking at the details of this kit, the main things you're gonna see that are noticeably different will be the V-fin, it'll be the backpack, the side skirts, as well as the legs. So let's just take a look at that V-fin. So when taking a look at that V-fin, it's only gonna look slightly different uh, than the Magnum version, at least in my opinion. So here is the uh, the normal Magnum, and it's really just gonna be the V-fin, like kind of binders. Uh, other than that, most of the faceplate will look exactly the same. Uh, yeah, actually I would say most of it really is the same, kind of just looking at it a little closer inspection. But yeah, the V-fin will be the primary difference. Now for the side skirts, you're really just replacing these little fins that do actually come with the kit with kind of side cannons. And I don't think that's a bad thing. I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, however, I, I probably do prefer the little side fins uh, more to those. And the Vulcans can also move forward on the skirt, so that way you can go ahead and pose it into some nice action poses. Now for the back legs, all you're really doing is replacing this little part with these little sleds that are very reminiscent to the Exia Avalanche. Um, I think they look pretty cool and they do just overall have a better aesthetic in my opinion and it just gives it a little bit more intimidation factor if I do say so myself. And to utilize these sleds for more of a space use, all you're gonna do is pull this little back piece right here on the foot, pull that down, pull this forward, and then you're gonna take this and you're just tucking it right into the back of the leg. And there you go, it's nicely deployed and ready for space use. And lastly, my least favorite change is going to be this backpack. Instead of having this beautiful, beautiful Gundam H spoiler from the Gundam H2, you're just given these two little pieces that, you know, act as little docking stations for the funnels. That's very disappointing. I actually really enjoy the spoiler. Now, it's kind of one of the more, I would say, better aesthetics of the Gundam H line was the simplicity of ha just adding a spoiler to it. So looking at the color scheme of this kit, it's going to have a very nice light gray, which I do believe contrasts very well with the basic white that it's basically covering the entire suit with. And it's also gonna have some nice purple, which is gonna be for that torso. Uh, also yellow will be incorporated in there, as well as your basic gray. And for articulation, I'm not gonna go through all of it, but obviously it is going to have the same articulation as the Gundam H2 Magnum. So if you are interested in looking at the articulation, uh, please check out that review. And when it comes to manipulators, you're gonna have kind of more of the basic open hands that allow you to you know, equip accessories. You also have your open hand that's exclusively for the left hand. And also this closed fist that is going to be exclusively for the left hand as well. And if any of you are wondering, yes, this will come with a stand. It will also come with a gray piece, that way you can extend it because this is going to be a very tall mobile suit. Now this kit will come with some stickers, so if you're really interested in using these stickers, I don't think they're that bad, especially like the, uh, the H crest one as well as the eyes. They're actually pretty decent stickers, but once again, I just went ahead and painted all mine up. And here is the Hyper Dodge Rifle Magnum. Now this is going to be the same exact mold as the uh, one from the Gundam Age Magnum, but this one is just gonna be molded in different colors. And the rifle is going to look super awesome with the overall mobile suit. I think it just really adds overall to the aesthetic and it looks pretty damn cool. Actually my favorite uh, rifle of the overall Build Diver series, in my honest opinion. And the next accessory is going to be Shiguru Shield. Looks pretty good. Uh, it's, it almost acts like a funnel because uh, many times I've seen it, you know, being used as a funnel in the actual series. So not only is it a shield, but it's also a main component of uh, the overall weaponry that this mobile suit has. And as you can see, it plugs nicely into the back of the sleeve. 
And here is the F funnel. So really cool weapon and you get four of these and these will plug right into the side of the shoulder and they basically have a little functionality to where they can uh, be utilized as a weapon because here's the handle. So yeah, these are pretty damn cool. And here's how it looks with the F funnels both equipped into the hand as well as used on the shoulders. Now the only problem I have with this at times is that the connection points will be fairly weak. So this one in particular, uh, it, it sometimes is just not very strong and it doesn't actually hold uh, basically the weight onto the shoulder. So it will just kind of fumble like that. Uh, but once I get done with this review, I'll basically tighten it up with some cement and it should be good to go. And here's the Sigmaxis funnel. So I love this funnel and I love kind of like how this whole kit represents uh, the Gundam Age franchise. Uh, so this actually utilizes weaponry of the H3 orbital. So what makes this pretty cool is that this obviously utilizes H3 aspects and then you're gonna have the, uh, the kind of the burst mode it has that utilizes the HFX uh, burst mode then it's the H2 kind of core concept of the mobile suit. And lastly, I, I firmly believe, I don't think this has really been addressed, but the um, F funnels look a lot like the H1 Razor. So, or at least the H1 Razor's weapons that it utilizes. So I think this kit really just comes together as just an embodiment of the Gundam Age franchise. And that's probably what makes me like this mobile suit so much more. Now how to utilize the weaponry is you open up all those little hatches and then that is exactly where the beam comes out from. Now how to mount this to the backpack is you basically just plug this right into the slot and it is going to have a functionality to where you can kind of bring it out and bring it in. And you also get two beam saber hilts with two beam saber effect parts and can be nicely stored right here on the side skirt. And when this kit has all the accessories deployed it's just going to be such a sight to marvel at. Now this kit is just not gonna be super high in price, uh, roughly around $25, and if you can definitely pick this up, I'm telling you, you're really gonna enjoy the uh, shelf presence it's going to have. Uh, and not only that, this kit also has a transforming gimmick, so let's just jump right into that one. And here we have is the Phoenix mode. So much like the Age 2 Magnum, this kit is also gonna have a transformation. The only main difference is gonna have the extra weaponry, uh, which would be the side Vulcans and the other two funnels right on top. So it's gonna have much more firepower uh, than its actual predecessor. So with this mode, I just, I love the bulk. I love the extra funnels and the sleds. It's just gonna add, you know, way more to this than what the normal Magnum uh, did. So I would just, I would even reinforce my uh, statement by saying this is going to be a better buy, just especially for this Phoenix mode because it is going to look super dynamic. And here are the two side by side, and the only noticeable difference is obviously going to be the uh, light gray color with the purple on the SV instead of the Magnum, and then the sleds as well as the other little minor accessories that are added to it. Now some of the only noticeable things I did differently was add some panel line accent color gray to it. And I used some pastels, the dark blue, just to give it a slight shading, which I know some people might not have you know, really enjoyed in this review, uh, but I thought it looked pretty decent and there's an alternative to actually painting it. 
Now in my opinion, this is a 100% must buy kit. Something that I think most builders should at least uh, probably really enjoy. I don't really see a lot of people just picking this up and not being happy with the overall quality of the build. It's something that is definitely worth the dollar value attached to the kit. So like I mentioned before, if you have kits such as the Double O Sky, uh, you could definitely recreate certain scenes from the actual anime, uh, especially like this, like the last little battle, and it's going to look pretty damn cool. So maybe even pull out the camera, you know, take some pictures, post on Instagram or any other social media, and it'll be pretty decent. Uh, so lastly, I would like to ask Steve exactly what your opinion is on this kit. Eh, it's not too bad. Wow, so Steve actually liked it. That's... Eh. It's actually pretty unique and, and a little bit scary. Uh, but nonetheless, this kit is super amazing. Definitely 100% buy if you can. Uh, but I will be doing a pose video of this kit in the near future. So with that, guys, I definitely appreciate you for watching this video all the way to the end. And like always, please like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on my different social media platforms. And I'll be seeing you all in the next video. Bye-bye.